Hi everyone, my name is Heather Wheeler. I'm from Wichita, Kansas, from Wheat Heart Sales. Our business leaders are Tony and Kristen Weber, and I love doing what I do. I want to tell you just a little bit about how to have some great word choices as you get ready to go into the fall into some of the very best selling season. But first I want you to know just a little bit about me. I'm a long time Tupperware kid. In fact, my mom and dad started Tupperware in 1954. And I tell you that because when you figure out that no matter how many years Tupperware has been around and through everything that's been going on in our country lately, but for the last 50, 60, 70 years, there has always been something going on about every decade. And through it all, Tupperware has been strong. In the good times, in the rough times, Tupperware has always had top sellers, top distributorships, and terrific products. And I think when you know that and can be solid in your, in your knowledge of that, you can do anything you want to in this business. But if you for one minute think, mm, I just don't know if right now we can do well with this, you're right. But Tupperware is good through it all because people need to eat, people need to save money, people need to make money, people need to be where there's food. And so we've always got a job and we have the very best product to work with. So when you know that, you're going to be just fine. So let's talk about some words. Well, when we talk about a slide, I want you to think about a slide from a playground. And when you start at the very, very top and you slide down, that's how you operate a slide, correct? We do the exact same thing in Tupperware. And at the very top of the slide is recruiting or sponsoring because we want to bring people into the business. So we're going to start there. And here's my best word I can offer you. It was taught to me by mom and so many others. But have you ever thought about selling Tupperware? I can't even give you a better choice of words. That's worked for me for years. Have you ever thought about selling Tupperware? They're either going to say yes or no. And if they say either one, you have more words to follow with. If they say, oh, me? I don't think I would ever be good at that. Oh, I think you'd be great at it. You're so friendly and kind, and we need those kinds of people. Let me tell you a few more things. Simple opener. But if they say, oh, no, I'm just not interested at all, well, then you slide down that slide a little bit. And the next word choices you can say is, did you know that our hostesses in Tupperware earn free and half price Tupperware? Did you know that? Oh, no, I didn't know that. Let me show you some of my very favorite things. Now, hopefully, you've already met them at a party and you've already shown them a catalog or maybe you know them online or they're in your family or circle of friends and they already know of some of our Tupperware products or perhaps you've already got them turned on to something pretty exciting like maybe the grill and they're thinking, oh, I'd love to have that grill. And you can say, you know, I can help you earn that grill for free or even half priced. Let me show you some other amazing things or just tell you a bit more. These are just simply opening lines. Of course, we're going to share more, but sometimes you do have to be careful because we talk too much and we talk them right in and we talk them right out. But maybe they say, oh, Heather, I'm just not interested in being a hostess right now, but thank you for asking. Say, well, that is all right. Let me show you how we can get that grill in your home. And it might be that they just want to purchase that. Or it might be that you can go back up the slide and help them earn it free, maybe through the Confidence Start program. So you start at the top and you work your way down. It might be at the very bottom that they say, but you know, I do have a couple of seals that I need to have replaced. Great, let me get that taken care of for you. Because once I take care of them, now I have a good customer contact. And we might go right back up the slide because I might say, you know, Janice, if you have some broken Tupperware, I bet some of your friends do too. You know, it might just be easy if we pull them all together and tell them to drop by and bring a few of their broken seals. And in the meantime, they can see what's new. You don't have to call it a party. We can just take care of some defectives while I'm taking care of yours. Let me take care of a couple others. And then they're like, well, you know what? I can maybe try that. Girls. That's a Tupperware party. <laughs> Anytime you have a place and a date where you're meeting together, you have an opportunity to show your Tupperware. Then, 
it might be that a few of her people start getting interested enough that they're like, gosh, I want to see what's new. And right back, she's at a party. And then when you're at the party, somebody says, gosh, I want to have a party. Hey, this is fun. I want to do this. And now your hostess becomes a recruit lead again. So you can go up and down that slide several times, but you have to have some word choices in place. And then don't be all upset if they say no. You just put a smile on your face and say, well, that's all right. Um, I tell you what, let me get you a catalog. Be okay with it. Sometimes when we're too desperate, they feel it and they're ready to run the other direction. Don't you? <laughs> if somebody comes up and they're like, hey, here's a catalog. Hey, did you want to buy? Hey, did you want to sell? Hey, do you want to recruit? Hey, hey, hey. And you just want to turn tail and run. We don't want to be like that. We simply want to say, have you ever thought about selling Tupperware? I think you'd be great. Or, hey, did you know that our hostesses can get free and half-price Tupperware? I could help you get that grill for even half-price. With a simple $300 party, you could get that for half-price. Oh, I could, sure. Or, whether it turns into a sale, when they're calling you saying, Heather, tell me a little bit more about those modular mates. Sure, let me tell you. Oh, my goodness. Blah, 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 blah. And I can go into why I love Tupperware modular mates. But then I would stop and say, did you know that right now I could get you a $219 set for absolutely free when you have an average Tupperware party? No. Yes. And it's so simple. I promise I can teach you how to do it. Now, you make sure you know the tools to teach them. And that's party planning. So when whoever's talking about party planning is talking, you listen up. Because that makes a difference. You need to know how to party plan that hostess. So I can't tell you how many times since especially uh, we've been quarantined or, you know, had more social distancing going on, that I have people call me and say, oh, Heather, that pressure cooker, that's a good sale right now. And I said, sure is. Well, why don't you go ahead and get me that ordered? Now, you know what they would not have known about that pressure cooker had I not put it all over Facebook or had I not been talking about it or wearing my Tupperware shirt or carrying a catalog with me and making sure that my circle of people were aware of it or at a Tupperware party online or in person either way talking about it but when they call me and say boy that's what I really want then I say well I tell you what let's go ahead and get that order for you today but while we're doing that why don't I just go ahead and set you up a link and let's see if a few of your other friends might be interested in getting in on that deal too. And guess what? I want you to get credit for that. And they're like, well, okay, what do you've got to lose? Um, you're going to go ahead and get it, but you might get some credit for that. Well, let me do that. Then I go ahead and say, well, you know what? While I'm setting up a link, why don't I just go ahead and set up an event? It'll make it easier for your friends. They can see some pictures and videos or whether you use groups or events. Um, but you know what? I find my most successful events are when I go live, maybe 15, 20 minutes. And I'll just show I could even cook in that pressure cooker for you and your friends to teach you how to use it. Does that sound good? Well, okay. And now I've talked him right into a Tupperware party. So guys, your word choices having a few up front, simple, easy words can help you to turn just a simple sale into a party or into a recruit. So practice those word choices. Good luck. You're going to have a great record breaker month.